this is part one of how to tweak a whistle. Um, if you don't know what whistle tweaking is or it kind of improving, it's that kind of name for all the stuff that people do to their whistles to make them sound better or different uh, or how they like them. So I'm going to show you how I tweak my whistles and then you can decide which bits of the process you might want to try on your own. Um, I've got two here. One, they're both in B flat. One is tweaked, one is completely as it came from uh, completely straight out of the box. Um, so let's hear the difference first of all, and then as I go through the different stages, you can decide which ones you might want to try. Uh, I've been playing kind of bluesy stuff to test whistles, so I'll just play the same kind of bluesy stuff. with the stock one. So right there, you might already have a preference. You might turn off this video right now because you realize that you like the factory one best. Uh, now one is brass and one is nickel. So there is a slight difference in tone between brass and nickel anyway, um, but it's usually that the, the nickel sounds a little bit smoother. So in this case, the nickel sounds a bit rougher. So we know that um, the tweaks are kind of are going to make a difference there because normally the, the nickel should sound smoother, but it's actually the, the brass one that sounds smoother, one, the one with all the adjustments to it. Now, uh, what adjustments do I want to make to this one? So stage one is going to be to take the head off to make it adjustable and to pack the head with, with blue tack. Now a lot of people stop there, but I also like to make sure that I make the, the fipple, this part here, completely smooth. And I do that by adding blue tack. Um, so I'm gonna do that now and then we're gonna hear the difference. Right, let's move over here to where you can see what I'm doing. Um, so I actually lied, it's not 100% factory. I had already taken the head off. I did that by boiling the kettle. Uh, I poured the kettle slowly over the plastic head and it melted the glue. And then I was able to take the, the mouthpiece off just like this. These are actually pieces of bicycle inner tube, but any kind of rubber you can use to grip will really help you to take that off. And that's exactly how it comes off. Just like unscrewing the top of a bottle. Now I want to put uh, some blue tack or white tack into inside the head. There's a little hollow bit in the head at the back that I want to fill up. This is a really standard tweak. Everybody does this. So if I can kind of get that in, maybe that's a bit of a big piece. So I'm going to get a little bit, drop it in there, and I'm going to use my chopstick to push it in. Oh, might I need to use my little knife as well? Maybe a little bit, just to flatten it. So it's not very easy for me, actually, it's not as easy as I thought for me to let me you see this. So there we go. Doesn't look great, but it doesn't matter. Then the next thing is gonna to be to cover up the fipple, that's this bit here, with a piece of, of white tack that's gonna make it completely, completely um, smooth. Now let me see how I can show you that I'm doing that. There we go, we've sort of tipped it so the light's perfect. And now I'm going to take a really thin piece of blue tack. I'm going to place it on top. There we go, it's on top. Complete mess at the moment, doesn't matter because once I use my little knife, can just push that over the top. I'm going to put my little finger inside and push it out. Again, you can't do that with the smaller ones. You probably have to put the knife in and push it up like that. And let's see how that sounds.
So it's sounding well. Let's see what it sounds like once I've put it back on. So it's back on the whistle. What do you think? Some people might think uh, that with the sort of edge of the sound gone and the rasp of the sound gone, uh, that actually have killed this, that you know, you preferred the sound before. I much prefer the smoother sound. Um, that's just me. I think also what I should say is this was actually a really good whistle in the first place, as in when it came out of the box, there was a bit of rasp, but that's kind of considered to be part of the sound. Some of them, when I got them out of the box, they're really raspy and, and really not a nice sound. So this process could actually really fix those up. Um, I say that, I think I've, I've ordered about six in total ever, and one of them was really bad. The rest were fine. Um, Finally, I should just put some nail varnish over this tack because I don't think that the tack looks great, so I'd rather just put a little bit of nail varnish over it. So here's a bit of nail varnish. Um, tweaking whistles really just feels like a bit of a magic trick to me. I mean, the fact that I can buy something for, you know, seven or ten pounds that I personally don't much like the sound of, but after spending kind of a few minutes just adjusting it, adding some blue tack, which costs almost nothing, then um, I can have an instrument that I really love the sound of. I think it's a, you know, it feels really empowering to be able to do that. Great, there we go, nice, nice gold fipple on the whistle. So stay tuned, because next time I'm going to do another adjustment to this whistle, and we're just going to see how it keeps improving, in my opinion, and see what you think as well.